How's everybody doing? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. Uh, probably a week ago, I tore apart a bunch of pallets. I need to make another coat rack, but this coat rack I want to keep for myself. All the other coat racks, I either gave them away or sold them. So I'm going to be making one for myself today. I figure I'd bring you guys along for the ride. So let's get to it. Well, I'm on my last piece of pallet wood here. Um, you know, these boards, some of them don't look that great, but we're not worried about that because we'll, we'll buff them up with a little bit of sandpaper when we're done, and I think they'll look really good. Uh, we're not worried about the nail holes or anything like that, even as far as that stains go on the wood. That's why we're using old wood. We want it to look older, but I think we can do a nice job and make it look nice. Now, the nails I'm pulling out, I'm putting them on a magnet tray over here. These nails, actually, there's almost none of these nails that are bent. You could reuse these if you wanted. The only thing with these nails, and I'll ask you a question, I'll see if you know. Uh, why is the end of this nail blunt? It's not sharp. And uh, I'll tell you exactly why. They blunt the end of a nail. You can see that's flat on the end of there. And the reason why they do that is so it doesn't split the wood. So if you have a piece of wood and you want to put a nail in it and you don't want it to split, stick that nail on something hard like a piece of steel and tap down on the end of it and it, it shouldn't split your wood. It's supposed to push the wood through instead of split the wood through. So that's why the nail is actually blunt on the end. You could reuse these if you wanted. I'll probably just put them in the recycling pile and uh, they'll get recycled. Uh, It'll go for iron, so, you know, nothing goes to waste when I do these projects. Anything I have, the scraps off the wood will be put in the wood burner to keep my garage warm. The wood will be made into something that somebody can enjoy. The nails may, I may even reuse some of them, but then again, if I don't, I'll recycle them. I'll put them in the iron pile and they'll uh, get recycled. So, we try not to waste anything that we can. Try to keep everything you can. think just because you got your wood free hey uh, if you're gonna sell me one of them you didn't have to pay for the wood so uh, can't you give me a better deal well honestly I would have a lot less time and labor in this than what this wood is cost I could actually go to Lowe's and buy all this wood for less money in my time if I counted my time taking all these nails out and tearing the pallets apart hey I got more time than what these wood, this wood's even worth, but I want to recycle it, I want to put it back to good use, so that's why I do it. So don't let somebody say, well, you know, you're not, you know, you don't charge me as much because uh, you got the wood free. That's not the way it goes. And this type of work here, you got to charge them whatever you feel your time is worth. So you do it however you want, but that's how I would do it. That's it. That's all the uh, pallet wood that I have in the flat one buys. I got some two befores over there, but I'm not going to strip them until as I need them. Uh, there's not a lot of nails in them anyhow, a couple here and there. So we're going to get to working on our coat rack. Now as you can see what I've done there is I laid all the wood out to where I can see the grains and stains and everything else that I might uh, need to kind of judge what piece of wood I want to use uh, for my uh, coat rack. So I know I want my coat rack, uh, this one here is only going to be about 60 inches high. This one's going to be for me, it goes in my room, and I need something for my coats, and I thought 60 inches. And I was trying to get right around 24 inches wide. So, at 24, if I use three of these board, or four of these, I'm not quite 24, but I think it'll work for me. Uh, doesn't have to be perfect, and there is no blueprint for this. So I think this is gonna make a nice uh, width to my coat rack, and what I would do is I would just cut these pieces out of another piece of wood, and then I'll have a solid block of wood. Uh, but on the back of these, I'm just going to use the same wood, and I'll put one across the back all the way around, and that will um, give me 
uh, something to hold them all together, like, you know, just a, a support across each one of these. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and pick out the wood and get these cut, and we'll flip them over, or however we're going to get them squared up here, and then and get those supports put on there. What I'm doing now is I'm just putting the support beams on the back. This is going to be the back of it. I put all the nail holes down so you can see them from the other side. Now I'm going to have a three quarter inch lip on this side and a three quarter on this side. We're going to put a little trim board down there to cover up the ends of these boards. So I already put a square mark on here so I know where this board is going to go. All I have to do is line it up with the pencil marks that I already have done. and then just nail her down. Well, that piece is on and it's good to stay. So we're going to get one on the bottom and one on the top too. Uh, they'll go all the way to the bottom and that one will go all the way to the top. Now that's pretty much the back. And the back don't look too bad. I want you to take a look at this. I'm going to show you a little close up. Now this is that old wood that was basically going to go to the scrap yard. I'm going to take this camera off so you get a little better view of it. Now look at this wood. That is beautiful. To me it is. It may look old, nasty, but to me it's beautiful wood. And I do believe that it's all pine. So, and you know, when it's done, it's going to look nice, you know, and it's just old wood. So, another piece of garbage turned into a nice piece of furniture, hopefully. I think now I'm going to start working on, uh, I need a lip around the outside edge, edge of this. I'm going to work on the lip that's going to go around the outside edge, then a top piece, a little plate that will go on the top, and then a shelf here. And I want a small shelf on the top of here. So we're going to, I'm going to go ahead and work on getting these boards stripped. For It's only a three quarter inch little lip that will go around the outside to hide the edges of the other boards. And then the small piece for the top and the shelf. Now the shelf, I found this piece of wood and it's a little bit different than the rest of the wood. It's got some knots and cracks. I think I'm going to use this for my shelf. I think it will work really nice. <clears throat> I like this wood. Uh, it's a little different, but that's okay. That's what I want. So we're going to work on the shelf, the top, and the two sides. What we're doing here is we're just trying to hide the boards that we're in the back. So we're just putting a small trim board in here down along this edge. It's going to keep that from showing through. Those boards we put in the back going this way. So then we're going to get working on the top up there. I got the top piece cut and I got the little shelf that I want to put on there. So but I got to make a couple brackets for under the shelf. Here. We'll do this on both sides. We'll get all this gives a little trim board all the way around the outside so it'll hide that. Then we'll get it up there and get it all sanded down a little bit. We're going to work on this top piece. I want to put a top on this. So I'm going to put this across the top and I'll let it hang over a half inch on each side. It'll sort of be just like the top of the coat. Rack. So I'm going to throw a little bit of liquid nail on there. Make sure none of them little nails are sticking out. So I'll throw some liquid nail across here. And then we'll go ahead and nail our piece on. We're just going to split the difference. We ain't going to worry about being perfect. Now 
the glue will hold that mostly on. We're not worried too much about it. We'll let the glue hold it on. <clears throat> start working on the shelf. I'm going to have to cut a couple boards underneath this thing to make a uh, couple brackets to hold it up on there. That way it'll stay in place. So I'll go ahead and get working on a couple brackets. I'll show you when I get them done. Okay, we know that this board is the one that we want to hold on the top of it. So I don't want to be quite as wide as this. I want to stay back a little bit. So I'm going to use this as a guide. I'm just going to come down like this. And then I'm going to take it on down here. And then about right in here, we'll take it out. And then bring it right back in. Now, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and cut this out. And then I'll trace it on this piece of board again. And then we'll cut one more identical to that one. Or, hey, what we're going to do now is we're just going to throw a couple. Um, we're going to countersink some screws down into this thing. We're going to do two on this side, two on that side. Actually, my camera shut off. I went ahead and got them drilled. We're going to pull them back apart. I got them in two nice 90 degree angles. It's going to hold them nice and straight. They're about two and a half inches from each side. So I'll go ahead and pull these back off and put some glue in there and put my screws in. Okay, we got our screws put in there. We countersunk them down in there a little bit, and uh, we did glue them. I got a little glue coming out the edge there, but I'll be able to wipe that off. The shelf actually turned out really nice, and we're just basically going to put the shelf up here on the top, so we'll have you know a little extra storage in there, something to put up. We could put some knickknacks or something up there. Now, as you can see, the board's actually warped up, but we'll clamp that down and we'll get it screwed in there. But uh, I think this is really going to turn out nice. We're putting our coat rack. We'll put our coat hooks up underneath here. Uh, so I think it's going to turn out really nice. In some of the other videos that I made where I made coat racks, I made a little seat down there. I don't want a seat. I'm going to screw this thing right to the wall. That's how I'm going to hang it up. I'm going to screw it right into the wall. So what I'm going to work on next is my coat hooks. And I'll tell you what I come up with. I'm going to take some railroad spikes, some old railroad spikes. You can see right here. I'm going to chop them off in the length that I need them. And then I'm going to thread the insides of them. I'll use a tap and die and thread them. And then uh, we'll use these as our coat hooks. And I think they'll be really nice. So we're going to go ahead and get working on the coat hooks. Okay, after we got them cut off, I used a wire brush to clean them up a little bit. And I just took a punch and tried to get as close as I could to the center. Uh, and then drill the hole. I'll drill a hole down through here and then we'll run some threads down in it. These will make some pretty nice little coat racks or coat hooks. Then when we do our clear coat, <clears throat> we'll just clear right over top of these too. We're not going to paint them. We're not going to do anything to them. We just wire brushed them down. Got the rust off of them. We don't want rust all over our clothes. Okay, we should have us a nice set of threads in there. They're not perfect because we didn't use a drill press. If we would use a drill press, we'd get a little tighter thread. Oh. So, that's okay. Then we stick our bolt down in there, and we are good to go. I actually already did the, I did these guys. I got two already done here. So, we'll go ahead and get them mounted on.
There you go. Three of them good to go. So I'm only going to put three on there. I think that's going to be enough for me. Like I said, this, this coat rack is going in my bedroom. Coat, coat hook. Looks pretty good. Okay, this is a little close-up look at the, all the, the uh, coat hooks. I think they turned out pretty good on there. The shelf, the top, and you can still see all the nail holes, which that's what I wanted. And uh, cracks in the wood, it's, I think it's going to look good. Now, like I said, I didn't put anything on the bottom. I just got a trim board down on the bottom. So now I'm just going to get this thing set up on the saw horses and give it a coat of clear. Now what I'll do is up here, I'll countersink where I'm going to put a screw here and a screw here to hold it to the wall. Or then again, I might just put one up in here and one up in here. I think that would be better. That way you can't see them. So we're going to have this thing just about done. The old pallet wood really makes a nice piece of furniture. People are using this stuff for everything now. It's not like it's really free free. I mean you do got to go pick it up, you got to tear the pallets apart and then you got to take all the nails out of it. But yet, it's still worth the trouble you go through. I know when I was doing the coat rack, I said I was going to put three coat rack coat hooks on here. Well, the third coat, if I put only three, it would end up in the center of this crack, and I didn't want it in the center of the crack. So I went ahead and put four on there, which is not going to hurt anything. There is no blueprint, so I can do it however I want. So I wanted to tell everybody, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Until next time.